Harford Artists Association has been a key organization in the local arts community for 54 years, offering educational programs, art exhibits, workshops, and so much more. With me in the studio to tell us about their upcoming events is artist Bill Rothenbach, a member of their Take a Chance on Art Committee. Good to see you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, this is wonderful. Um, tell me first, let's talk about the organization that is responsible for all these wonderful arts events you're going to talk sure. about. Sure. Harford Artists Association has been around since 1970. As a nonprofit, mm -hmm. they're currently located in the um, Armory Marketplace, which is right behind the Bel Air Armory right. off, off of Main Street in Bel Air. And we have about 300 members. I think it's actually wow. closer to 325 members, range in age from 11 years to all the way up to 90 plus years. <laughs> okay. With all kinds of different skills levels and expertise and and niches of interest as well. Yeah. So it's a it's a membership organization and um, primarily. Uh, their, their mission is to um, display, obviously, in their gallery right. um, the kind of art that their members create and also to educate the community in terms of, uh, you know, the, the different kinds of arts mm -hmm. and to help enhance the members' artistic, uh, you know, endeavors and, um, and lastly to promote the arts within Harford County, right. usually the visual arts, but but yeah. uh, all kinds all of kinds arts. Of. So obviously, uh, uh, not obviously, you are not an artist by trade, but you were inspired at some point, and you become very involved with, with the association, but you were inspired to become an artist yourself. Can you tell us how that happened? I am definitely not an artist by trade. <laughs> I had absolutely no interest in the arts growing up, and it was, it was really just by chance that I became involved in the arts. I was actually um, working in Charlotte and commuting back and forth between Bel Air and Charlotte, and was uh, throwing away my trash at the community dumpster where I had an apartment when I noticed uh, an easel laying on the ground, brand new easel, brand new paints, and I said, oh, what a shame. Somebody bought that, never used it, and, and I started to head back to the car, and I swear there was a voice that said, pick that up and take it home, which I did, and I set it up and looked at the easel for a while and threw a canvas on it and looked at it for a while, and then just started painting, and, and about eight or nine years later, I've, I've sold probably 100 pieces of wow. art, and have art in uh, on permanent display in educational institutions and have won a number of international awards. So that's terrific. It's uh, no one is more surprised than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's why the association is so important. So yeah, it, absolutely it, yes. So you, it brings out the artist in all of us. Well, let's talk about some of these big events uh, mm -hmm. coming up. The the first one I want to mention is the Take a Chance on Art event. That's our biggest fundraiser of the year, and mm -hmm. it's a fun event. Mm -hmm. It's 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 music, food, fun, art and more art. <laughs> okay. it's, uh, if, if you can imagine going into an art gallery and seeing all the art displayed on the walls and saying to yourself, I'm going to take one of those home, that's what Take a Chance on Art is all about. Um, you, there are two levels of, of tickets, mm -hmm. actually three, but I'll talk about the two. For $30, it, it allows you entrance into the Take a Chance on Art, and you can enjoy the fun and the networking and the food, and you can browse all the art. And, and literally in the armory, the walls are surrounded by art. How nice. And we're seeing some of the, the pieces that have been uh, admitted or, mm -hmm. or donated this year even. We're seeing some. Well, last year talking. we had about 84 pieces submitted, really? um, donated by members of the organization. We're hoping that will exceed 100 this year. Wow. Um, so for $30, it gets you all that. For $95 okay. ticket, it gets you all that. And you get to take one of those pieces of art home, which is valued at least at $150. However, I know for a fact there are paintings there that are that are valued at four or five hundred dollars. Wow! So you buy a ninety-five dollar ticket and you might walk out with a fifth, you know, with a five hundred dollar painting. How fun! It's a wonderful idea and a wonderful concept. So if people want to get tickets or want to, they can mm -hmm. do that online. They can purchase tickets online right now, or they can go to the gallery and purchase tickets as well. Tickets are not available at the door. Although if you do change your mind and want to upgrade your ticket from a $30 to a $95 ticket, you can do that at the, uh, at the event. Okay, so it's March 16th from 6 to 9. Is that for both ticket uh, levels? Right. Okay. Um, it starts, starts around 6, um, and people use that time for browsing. And yeah. it's, it's so much fun to watch the people <laughs> browse the paintings and take their notes. Any and fights occur over certain No fights <laughs> at that point in time, but when, when the lottery starts, and people's numbers are called and they're allowed to choose a painting, that's when you'll hear all kinds of groans and, <laughs> and cheers and yells. So it's a lot, it's really a lot of fun. Okay, and then that that's a great event. Then you have some more coming on. You have the, the um, uh, 
Bel Air, or it, it's Hartford 250 Bel Air 150. Tell me about that. Well, during the course of the year, we have about six exhibitions at our gallery, which is located right behind the Armory in the Armory Marketplace. Right. Um, and they're, they're, they're member exhibitions. We're, we're wrapping up one right now, which is the Starving Artist Exhibition. Oh. So in early March, our next exhibi exhibition will start, and that's the Hartford 250 Bel Air 150. That's the theme of that exhibition. Okay. And it relates to the um, anniversaries of both the county oh. and the town are going through. So we ask members that, to um, bring in paintings that are in line with that theme. It's not required, but that's what we would predominantly oh. like to have in the gallery. Okay, all right. And then you're having something new in September called Family Fun Day. This will be the first time that uh, we'll be holding this. I don't have a lot of details about okay. that, but watch the social media in September. Uh, we'll be having Family Fun Day. And from what I understand, it's gonna be just a lot of fun for It's gonna people. be fun for yes. the whole family. And then you have in October, the Halloween. That's event. our second biggest fundraiser of the year. Take a Chance on Art is our biggest fundraiser. But the Halloween bag, in October is, is the second biggest one, and it, it is also a lot of fun. The Because we are talking about artists, the creativity that goes into some of these costumes is just oh. phenomenal. So, um, so now can that be a family event too, or is that more for adults when you say creativity goes into the into the? Um, I think it's costumes. mostly for adults. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, it sounds like you have many different events all season long. And well, yes. If someone's now inspired and saying, I'd like to be, you know, I'd like to be a part of this group, how can they do that? Well, they can uh, go to artinharford.org, which is our website, and they can check out the membership. And uh, our, our membership dues are very low, mm -hmm. uh, at least I think so. Um, and we do have different levels for, um, you know, full members and student members. Um, but they could join the organization then, and they can either pay as they go when they when they bring paintings into the gallery or they can pay for the whole year okay. and then they don't have to worry about that. All right, well, Bill Rothenbach, I think it's wonderful all the work you're doing in the Hartford Artists Association as well. Thanks so much for telling us about it. Well, thank you for the opportunity.